Now we'll take a look at how to zoom in and zoom out on your mobile device. Let's begin, I've already created an N for Android project and I'll begin by, as usual, drawing a simple shape. It's going to be a circle, convert it to a symbol and give it an instance name of C, simply. Now we'll create a new layer called Actions and then click the first frame of the Actions layer and hit F9 or Option F9 on a Mac to open up our Actions panel. And first we need to uh, determine the multi-touch input mode as we did before with the rotation. So multi-touch dot input mode mode and set this equal to multi-touch input mode dot all uppercase gesture semicolon to end your statement and now we'll add an event listener to our circle so we called it C so C dot add event listener it's going to be a transform gesture event dot all uppercase gesture underscore zoom and then the name of the function will be simply zoom semicolon to end your statement now let's create the function zoom so function zoom the event variable is of type transform gesture event so e colon copy this right here and then paste it here and then colon void and now our opening and closing curly brackets here we will we'll vary the scale of our circle depending on the scale of our event variable and we can also add the event listener to the stage same result so c dot scale x will be equal to c dot scale y this will be equal to e which is our event variable here e dot scale x semicolon to end your statement We'll copy this, paste it again, and now it's going to be e dot scale y. And I'll explain why in a second. Now control enter to test your movie. Go to our touch and gesture tab. Click on the touch layer and then click on zoom under gesture. Same as rotating your object, we need to first select our first anchor point, then click and hold down and zoom up and down oops I'm sorry about that there's a mis there's been a mistake here it's not equal to e dot scale x and equal to e dot scale y it's star equal or asterisk equal to e dot scale x and asterisk equal to e dot scale y and that's because we're multiplying the scale x and the scale y properties of our circle by the value being provided by the e dot scale x and e dot scale y and if you want we can trace this value by saying trace e dot scale x comma e dot scale y so we can have a better idea of what is the value being provided by our, by our uh, event variable here so control enter to test and if I go to down to my touch and gesture tab click on the touch layer and then zoom click and drag or sorry place my first anchor point and then click down and hold and then zoom in or out and as we can see it starts zooming in and zooming out and this is the value being provided by my event variable 
Okay, now why did I put it equal to scale x and then scale y? Well, that's because if I set it only equal to e dot scale x, then if I zoom along the y direction, nothing will happen. Let me show you. I'll comment the e dot scale y property, and then control enter test. Go down to my touch and gesture tab, click on the touch layer, and then zoom. So if I zoom up and down on my y-axis, nothing will happen. While on the x-axis, you see that it still works properly. That's why we need to set it along the x-direction and along the y-direction. Let's say I want to put some limit to how much I can zoom in or zoom out. Because for now, I can zoom in and out for as much as I want. As you can see, it could get out of the stage and then become too, so small that I can't see it anymore. So now let's put some boundaries for how much I can zoom in or zoom out of my circle. So we can put some boundaries by either using the scale x property of my circle or using the width and height of the circle. I'll use the scale property first. I'll use an if conditional statement if c dot scale x sorry that's a scale with a lowercase s scale x is less than 2 and c dot scale x is greater than 0 0.5 that means that if the scale of my circle is less than two times its original scale and is greater than half its original scale then I want the scale x and scale y to be equal to e dot scale x and e dot scale y then we'll close this off and now I'll put an else if one for the upper bound and one for the lower bound so else if c dot scale x is greater than or equal to 2 set c dot scale x equal to c dot scale y then both of these will be equal to 1.99 semicolon to end your statement again copy this else statement paste else if c dot scale x is less than or equal to 0 0.5 set c dot scale x equal to c dot scale y equal to oops sorry about that equal to 0 0.51 and the reason i chose 0 0.51 here and 1.99 here is that is so that these if sta this if statement will still be valid if the scale x is greater than or equal to 2 or is if it's less than or equal to 0 0.5 so 0 0.51 is still greater than 0 0.5 and 1.99 is still less than 2 now control enter to test go to my touch and gesture turn on the touch layer and then click on zoom and here we can see that there is an upper bound, if you may, for how much I can zoom in and a lower bound for how much I can zoom out. And I can zoom in and out along the x direction or the y direction.